Hello YouTube, I'm back with another tutorial for um, M Creator. So today we're going to cover something a little more advanced, but you know, it's something that most of you probably are wondering how to do and don't know how to get rid of this crazy texture glitch. Well, it's, um, I believe the version for M Creator is, I have no clue actually. Let's go on their website. Where's it? Oh, there it is. M Creator. Um, by the looks of it, we are on 1.2.9 for Minecraft 1.5.2. Basically, to fix some bugs, but not most of the ones that I've been having problems with for my texture pack. Well, not really texture pack, but like mod texture pack thing. Anyways, um, so we're covering transparent blocks today. So let's open up. Actually, I have a texture right here for um, glass. Um, we're going to import it into our M Creator. We'll just take a second to load. Okay, so we want to go over to add texture, load image, desktop, because that's where it's located. We want this one. And you can tell it's transparent because it's a black background where the transparent part is. So you want to go use, block, and then type uh, whatever you want it to be. So like test block, that's what it's called. So we're gonna call it that as well. At least I think that's what it's called. Yes, oh, it's test glass, whatever. Um, okay, it's done. So we go to new mod block, and then we type in um, our mod name, so test. And we go here, we add the textures. So let's find it. Where is it? There it is. Alright, so after we did that, we hit next. Type in the GUI name, so test glass. And we want it to show up in our creative block tab. Usually people do. Uh, there isn't really one for whatever, so just leave that as default and make it so it drops nothing. It doesn't matter what if you want it to drop or not, it's just most glass in Minecraft doesn't drop, it just breaks. So. Uh, for glass, the we want it to sound like glass as well as we want it to have the same properties as glass. So, but that doesn't work, and I'll show you why. So, if we go next and next, and let's just make it really simple. We put one that, and we'll get eight of those. Next, finish. It's just compiling the thing and then we'll test it out. Okay, so we'll start it up. All right, oh, it's not done yet. There we go, it's done. Start up their Minecraft thing.
create single player, create new world, creative. I prefer a certain seed, so we'll just because there's a lot of room on it, a lot of desert. Um, okay, create world. So, if we go in here, we'll click on this. Yeah, it looks like a clear block. Oh my god, look at that. You can actually th see through it. Well, that's a problem if you are building like a um, house or some type of glass structure because, let's, for example, basic window. And we'll add her. Well that doesn't look right. You can see through your wall. What's with that? It's because code's missing. There's a certain code that you need um, to get this glass mod to work. Now I've I messed around with it for a while. I got some code off of um, a tutorial for um, creating mods and stuff like that. I'll leave that in the dis well, I don't know, I might have to upload it to a Mediafire account or something like that so you guys can get the code. But um, I'll show you how to install it. First you want to go to mod list. Yes I have a lot of mods, I know. <laughs> it's because I'm working on a project. So we go to our test class, we go edit mod now all this Java will come up and you're probably going wow where do I start yeah <laughs> it gets pretty complicated it took me a couple tries to actually get the right location but right under I believe where is it I where's the document okay so right here it's basically telling me it's under this so I place all this code right here copy it and place it under block axis so right under here so we want to move some spaces just paste all that in like that and then we go save recompile So it's recompiling right now, so it's just going to take a second. Alright, done. Exit. Back. And uh, it's still recompiling. <laughs> it's because I clicked it twice. That's oh, alright, we can wait. Alright, start up the um, thing again. Now I don't know if this code is going to work in later versions of Minecraft, but I know it works for certain in 1.5.2. Um, okay, so we want to go to single player and then we want to New world. I think that's the one. No, this one. No. Hold on a second. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, and I selected world. Alright, where are we? Okay, 
Okay, so let's make the window one more time. Alright, now let's place it. There we go, see? Perfect. You can actually see the walls on the other side. It's not glitching, and your players, or people that play on servers, or clients, whatever you want to call them, they can actually now not see through the ground and like use it to their advantage to get ores and stuff. So there you go. That's the uh, tutorial for transparent blocks. I hope you um, enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, it's a little more advanced, but you know it's it's good to learn because if you don't learn it, <laughs> you're gonna have like transparent blocks that are you can see through <laughs> find ores easy but um if you like my videos subscribe um check that little like bot like button right up at the top corner wherever it's located on youtube